Two women stopped to take pictures of themselves, and those pictures later helped deputies catch a criminal. While they were snapping pictures at a gallery, a crook was busy breaking into cars. As News 13's Crystal Gutierrez reports, this suspected thief probably regrets where he parked his own car. Memories for two women who visited the Shadoni Art Gallery near Santa Fe turned into a crucial piece of evidence for detectives. It seems like this was more of a photo of uh, opportunity. <laughs> Lieutenant William Pacheco says the weekend before Valentine's Day, deputies responded to three calls in two days that someone was smashing in car windows and ripping people off. And they were looking for purses, or backpacks, credit cards and money. Two cars were broken into at a hiking trail near the ski basin. One victim described the suspect as a Hispanic man in a white car. Just a day earlier, a woman's SUV was broken into at the Shadoni Art Gallery. A worker there gave the same description to detectives. The victims there told detectives they had been outside taking pictures on their cell phone. One picture would break this case wide open. The photo was taken based on the fact that they were taking pictures of each other near this artwork and they didn't know that they were actually capturing the suspect's vehicle in the background. Take a look at this. After detectives zoomed in, they saw a car matching the description in all three car break-ins. We actually see the white vehicle parked next to their explorer. Deputies sent the picture of the car to other departments. A Santa Fe police detective recognized the car from a shoplifting case. That led them to Richard Salazar. From his many mug shots, he's no stranger to law enforcement in the area. Deputies say the victims ID Salazar as the burglar, then deputies went and got their man. They say had he parked his car somewhere else, solving this case could have been a lot tougher. Crystal Gutierrez, KRQE News 13. Lieutenant Pacheco says he's never seen a case solved like this in his 15 years with the department. Salazar is charged with burglary and damage to property.